Hello and welcome. This time we're going to talk about SPI. Ooh, sounds dangerous. It is not that dangerous. It's a bus system. Yeah. Serial Peripheral Interface, SPI. Okay. SPI was originally uh, issued or invented by Motorola. Yeah. Now this Motorola part is now belonging to uh, NXP semiconductors. So, what is SPI? Yeah. SPI actually is a serial bus system and there is one primary, one master, which controlling the communication yeah, to secondaries, to slaves. Yeah. And this communication, uh, well, the standard is not that rigid. Okay, The standard is very loose. Yeah. So it describes a little bit, but there are a lot of different implementations. Yeah? There's two things. Yeah? Beneficial things. I can cover quite a lot of applications with this. Yeah? So I can select the bandwidth. I can select uh, which edge is triggering. I can select. Uh, I can select the levels, the voltage levels. There are a, a bunch of things I simply can select. Yeah? If most significant or least significant bit is first, that makes it very open and very, very tailorable, yeah? can be tailored to your application. Yeah? However, if you tailor something to your application and you want to mix two things, yeah? because all both things are SPI, it will maybe not work. Yeah? That's the downside of this open standard. Yeah? That you might end up in the situation where yeah, it's SPI, but not my SPI. Okay. So this is somehow a little bit uh, conflicting with the idea of a bus system. Yeah? Bus system, everybody shares one communication. Yeah? However, if we are talking to each other and, I don't know, talking different languages, ja? ich spreche jetzt ab jetzt Deutsch, dann spreche ich, dann und verstehen mich wahrscheinlich nur mein Bruchteil der Leute, die hier zusehen. Ja? Now it's, everything is the same, ja? but different language. So, however, there is wide variants yeah, of used things. Yeah. Our Arduino is able, able to use this SPI interface. How? I will show you. But first I will show how that SPI interface is working. Okay. So we're talking about SPI. Serial Peripheral interface. That's what it means. Yeah? And I said there is a master and a slave, and there is a SPI master. And there are SPI slaves. Maybe one, maybe two, maybe more, which share at least the same subset or the same implementation. Okay. One thing, there's the clock. Serial clock. This is connected to everywhere. Serial clock, this is somehow organizing. Now as a new data, 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 now as a new data. Okay, 
So this is uh, this is simply the, the yeah, clock signal. Yeah? Dirigent. Now, now, now. Left foot, right foot, left foot. <laughs> Have you visited the dancing class? Yeah? It's fun. Everybody is fighting. Yeah. Okay, and then there's a line called Mosey. Mosey. Mosey means master of slave in, master out slave in. So they are also connected. And where is a mosey? There is a miso. <laughs> it's not a soap, a soup. Miso soup in the Japan restaurant. Yeah. It's mean master in slave out. And also those are connected. And you see, since we are having two different communication lines in two directions, this is a full duplex system. We can see already, okay? Full duplex system. And uh, somehow I need to select which slave I want to talk to. Yeah? So there's a SS slave select. And this, this line here means a uh, logical one is is zero. Huh? And one possibility is that I do have here SS1, SS2, huh? different slave selects, which where I can select different slaves. Huh? There are also applications where multi-master and so on, then it's getting complicated. Okay. Uh, sometimes uh, this SS is also called CS, uh, chip select, uh, also possible, or chip enable, CE. Uh, there are different names. Also there are different names for MOSE and MISO. Uh, there might be SDI, and STO, serial data input, serial data output. And of course, if here is a serial data output and here is a serial data input, I need to plug this in this way. I don't, here, Mo, uh, MOSI have to connect to MOSI. Yeah? And STO, I have to connect to STI. Okay. But mainly, these are just names, labels on a chip. Yeah? For instance, this chip here. You see, you see that it's too too small for you. Yeah? But there is written uh, Mosi Miso SCK SCK. Yeah? So here we have SCK. Yeah? This is the clock. We have a Mosi. We have a Miso. Yeah? And do we have also a chip enable or something like this? Yeah? Request, ground, reset. Yeah. So this thing here is an RFID reader. Yeah. These are we are going to use. We are going to use this with our RFID card. Yeah. This will then be next course when we're talking about identification systems. But then we are going to use this SPI interface in real, in real, yeah, with our Arduino. And our, our, our Arduino is able to do this. There's a library for it, and this library is called. Well, what we what would be the best name for a library for SPI? It's called SPI.h. Okay. Then our Arduino is able to talk SPI. Our Arduino is Arduino. And what else do I wanted to say? Everything's all right. <laughs> Friday the 13th. Uh, here, those pins. I'm sure you have already noticed, we never talked about this. Yeah? This is a special interface 
of our Arduino, yeah? this is a special interface going directly into this our mega chip, 80 mega, yeah, in our microcontroller. Yeah? This microcontroller, this is uh, uh, in system programming, and this is SPI actually. Yeah? There are SPI pins, and I can connect here and directly copy software here on this microcontroller without this different hardware and load and stuff. Uh, this is very close to hardware here. Yeah? SPI, Serial Peripheral Interface, on our AVR chip. Yeah? This is our, the company is AVR, which is producing these mega chips. Um, this is a possibility. You usually have them on most of our Arduinos. If it's a mega, if it's this Uno here and so on, a lot of AVR chips to have this. Yeah, Serial Peripheral Interface. Yeah, like I said, we're going to use it. Yeah, this, this library. Next time, we're going to make another a real example. Yeah, because next time we talk, we're going to talk about communication between integrated circuits. I square C. This is called. So the bus system. How this is working will then be in next video. For this time, thank you very much for listening and goodbye.